What's up, money growers? Jacob back here with another video. I am feeling much better today. Thank you for everyone who was bearing with me uh, yesterday. I was not feeling so well, so I'm feeling better today though. Now we can start talking about the rest of these uh, Navy Federal credit card promos and all that kind of stuff. So guys, we do have some stuff to talk about today, particularly with Navy Federal, because that seems to be everyone's favorite topic on this channel. Man, it is like people cannot get enough when I talk about Navy Federal on here. So we're going to be talking today about uh, one of their most recent credit card offers that they've changed with their promos, right? They have changed several of these as of, oh, yesterday, the first. So guys, we're going to jump into that today, but I do have to say thank you to everybody who subscribed to the channel so far. If you have not subscribed to the channel, Channel, go ahead and do so because man this channel's growing like crazy i know Corey the other day was in the comment section he goes dude did you just double your subscribers overnight I'm like no not quite but i've gotten a nice boost lately and i've noticed a lot more new names in the comment section i'm happy to have you guys thank you for joining welcome to the channel and uh yeah you guys have been absolutely awesome so hey subscribe hit the like button all that fun stuff now let's jump into this and start talking about navy federal and their latest round of credit card promos they're offering. So we're gonna check this out today and look at some of the uh, rewards cards. So yesterday I did the flagship, um, because that's, you know, like the card that they, uh, they kind of hold it up as, I guess, being their best card. But I know some of you think that the, um, you like the more rewards a lot better, and I can see why people would. So we're gonna be talking about the Go rewards today, because this one is interesting, the way they've done this offer. They've kind of mixed and matched some of the ways they've done this the last few times. So we're gonna talk about that today. So you, all you gotta do is Google search Navy Federal or NFCU credit card, something like that. And you'll see, you know, a lot of these um, these results will come up here. So come, here's the credit card homepage they have right here. They have the rewards cards, which we're talking about today. Four of the six cards they have are rewards cards. Um, I, mean, I guess even the end rewards technically does get you rewards. But the low rate card is the platinum, which like never really changes. And you have the building credit, which is the end rewards. So of all six of the cards they have down here, they've got... The Platinum, this one is the low interest for the balance transfer. This one never changes. And then the end rewards is the secured credit card here. This one also like never changes. They really don't have any promos with this as a secured card. Now, the more rewards, the flagship, the go rewards, and the cash rewards, these are the ones that change anywhere from every two to about uh, four months, five months, just kind of depends. Interestingly enough, right now, this last round of promos before this, all of these uh, went from January 3rd to February 28th. They were like not even two full months. But this time they've done them. Two of these cards, the cash rewards and the flagship, both go until July. And then the go rewards and the more rewards, their promos go until May, which is kind of interesting. So we're going to dig into the go rewards here and take a look at this. So we'll click on the card here. Take you here to this card. If you want to apply right now, you can. I would encourage you to do the pre-qualification tool. Uh, ahead of time anyway, just to see, even though there's no guarantee, if you're pre-qualified pre for this, you'll get approved for it, just FYI. And then typically pull TransUnion, by the way. They usually pull TransUnion uh, when you do your hard in when you get your hard inquiry, when you apply for the credit card. Now they'll show this card is good for busy lifestyle, dining out, you need average text and credit. So you can get this card, it's just pretty much average credit for the most part. This Go Rewards card is a good starter card, probably for a lot of people. Um, the more rewards is gonna be better, by the way, just in case you're not familiar with Navy Federal that much. So what they're offering here, 15,000 bonus points and low intro APR. So a little bit different than what they were doing before. So I went and checked my video I did on the last time they did these new promos. And what they were offering last time was um, if you spent $2,000 in 90 days, you got $200 back. So you got 20,000 uh, bonus points is what they gave you. So that's what you got. So now this time they actually, you get less points, you get 15,000 which is $150 value, but you only have to spend a thousand bucks within 90 days. So yeah, you're getting less of a cashback signup bonus, but you're actually getting a greater percentage on this one. So before you had to spend $2,000 to get $200 back. So you had to, so you got 10% return on spend. Now this time you're spending a thousand dollars and you're getting 150 back. So that's 15% return on spend. 150 is 15% of a thousand. So the percentage you're getting back is higher without having to spend as much money. Um, but again, if you know, if you think you're gonna hit a $2,000 spend anyway, then you know, you might as well just, you, the last offer is probably better for you. Um, now this one, if you think you can hit the $1,000 spend, the minimum spend is lower, you still get 15% back. So, you know, depending on your situation, I mean, we're talking 50 bucks here. For most people, it's probably not gonna break the bank or, you know, have a major impact on their decision. The other thing they're offering this time is since they lowered the signup bonus you get back, is the uh, low intro APR, which was said this last time before this, they were going from January and February. 
it was just two hundred dollars cash back or spending two grand. There was no a APR for this. I think this was the only one they didn't do a, a special low interest or no interest APR off on this. So what they're doing is this: they're offering zero point nine nine percent intro APR, which usually I see zero. They do one point nine. I don't see zero point nine nine too often from Navy Federal. So they're doing zero point nine nine percent intro APR on purchase for six months. After that, the variable APR between 8.99 and 18%. Navy Federal does not go over 18%. This offer expires May 2nd. So like I said, the Go Rewards and the More Rewards are expiring May 2nd. The Cash Rewards and the Flagship, I think it's July 5th. Those are expiring. And this card you see, you get your three points at restaurants, two points on gas, one point at everything else. So, and then also, what does it say down here? The, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. The uh, fees, like, you know, no foreign transaction fee and stuff like that uh, with this card. So this is what they're offering right now. If we go back and compare it to, um, like I said, the offer just before this to basically start off the new year was said $2,000 you spend, you get $200 cash back. That was it. There was no APR portion. Now, before that, if we're going to look at when they were closing out the year, we go here. And this is what they were offering at the end of 2021 for the Go Rewards. So what they were offering... Uh, really was it was just a low interest APR. That's all it was. So for most people, this is probably not a great credit card at that time. Um, you know, this is probably target people who are doing lots of holiday shopping, but that's really about it. So this is uh, at the end of 2021, you look at a Go Rewards credit card where you can save on interest with 0% interest APR for six months. After that, 8.99 and 18%. So they're offering zero at the end of 2021. Now they're offering 0.99%. Again, for six months, just like here was for six months. So really, you know, you could kind of say right now, for some people, this might be considered a better offer overall if you can take advantage of both of these things. Because before this, it was just a $200 cash back, no low interest APR. Before that, it was low interest APR, but you got no cash back. So now they are doing a combination of these two, right? So the cash back's not as good as the offer just before this, and the low interest APR is not as good as this, the offer before that but they are combining both right here. If you wanna see the offer they were doing um, before that, is this it? No, that's the one I already got up on screen. Let's scroll down a little. And this one. So if you wanna see what they were doing in the fall, they were offering a $100 value is what they were doing. So before, the holiday, yeah, so before they got into the holiday season card offer, what they were doing is they had a $100 value on this card if you spent 1000 bucks in 90 days. So again, 10% back, pretty common for maybe federal. So, I mean, what they're offering now is better. It's a $150 bucks for spending 1000 So when here was 100 for spending 1000 back in the fall. And then they also had 1.99% intro APR balance transfers for six months. So they really hit the six-month mark a lot. When it comes to the intro... APR for balance transfer. So the Go Reward seems to be a combination between changing the sign-up offer for anywhere from 100 to 200 bucks for spending 1,000 to $2,000. And sometimes they do the low interest APR. If they do, it looks like it's pretty much always gonna be for six months. And you can get anywhere from zero to pretty much 1.99%. Somewhere in that ballpark is what you can expect. So again, if you really like cash back sign-up bonuses, you know, you're probably not gonna be thrilled with this because it's a lower amount. If you really do need a low intro APR, you probably are gonna like this just because of the offer here. So, you know, I guess you could say this is kind of a happy medium between what they've been doing with this card for recent promos. So for some, this is probably gonna come out of wash. Others, you know, I, I don't think this is gonna to excite too many people a whole lot, but I think it's just kind of, I would just say this is just more in line with what they typically offer. I mean, as you're looking at, you know, we went back and looked at the last, what, three rounds of promos before this. This seems to just be in line with what they typically offer for the Go Rewards card. Not, you know, some decent rewards or decent sign-up bonus. Nothing that's going to, you know, nothing that's like out of this universe. But it's also not bad either. So it's kind of a middle of the road I offer is what I would say. So if you guys have a different opinion, please let me know about it down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear what you have to say about this sign-up offer with Navy Federal. They're offering with the Go, Re Go Rewards credit card right now. We do have some other cards to cover in the future. We'll definitely be covering those as well. But let's talk about the Go Rewards for right now. Let me know what you guys have to say down in the comment section below. I appreciate you guys watching. And until next time, keep growing your money.